Well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now, is it? Just come down and explain I am calm down. Going. Go and do what you f***ing told, mate. Go and do what you told. McLeod, M-C-L-E-O-D. Okay, sure, sure. F*** off. What part of that are you having trouble with? Okay, I think you've got an anger problem. No worries, okay. walk back. Remember this piece of shit? Constable Brad McLeod? Here he is again, serving the community and upholding the law to promote a safe, secure and orderly society. It's early evening in September 2017. Three police cars pull up outside a house in Melbourne's northern suburbs. The disability pensioner inside the house is mentally ill and very distressed. He's been withdrawing from the pain medication prescribed after back surgery. John's medical carers have called police, worried at his deteriorating state. Police dispatch notes warn John may confront them and try to provoke them into shooting him. He also has a minor assault on his record from 10 years ago. But from behind his locked screen door, he repeatedly pleads with them to leave him alone. The police notes state that when John opened the door, he came at them with two raised fists. But the video appears to show him fending off an officer coming at him with capsicum spray. John has asked not to be fully identified. Do you remember being hit? Not really, no. I felt everything the next day, but I was more from the withdrawal and then the incident that just of my uh, I went into like shock basically that's the word shock while police pin him down one strikes John's calf with a baton he is punched and his face is again sprayed with capsicum at close range you want that? Oh. Like that? Oh. No, good, doesn't it? Oh. get your fucking hand behind your fucking back oh my back he had committed no crime, they were here for a welfare check and uh, for him to be treated in that way is humiliating and, and at the end of the day quite degrading um, uh, for anyone, let alone someone who has mental health issues and really had committed no crime. An officer gets a hose to wash the pepper spray off John's face, aiming a jet of water at his eyes. I thought I was going to die. I really literally thought I was going to drown. Like, I don't know, it's all girdling. Like, you can feel the mace and the water together in your lungs. It's just, it's a weird feeling. And it's hard to explain. Yeah, happy, yeah, happy. An officer appears to direct his colleague to spray John a third time. Come on. So he can capture it on his mobile phone camera. It was like, like a game for him to want to get their rocks off, you know? I don't know. I really don't know why, you know? Yeah, John's lawyer says that what is unusual about his treatment here in his front yard is not that it occurred. It's that it was captured on CCTV, a system John installed after he was burgled. John's lawyer also says that it's telling that some of what you see in the vision was never recorded in the police reports of the incident. Not one of these officers raised any concerns about what happened in the post-incident reports. What John's case highlights, though, uh, is that these things do occur, and he obviously has the evidence to be able to back it up. You've told John not to bother interacting with the police complaints system. Why is that? 
Well, the police complaint system has an extraordinarily low substantiation rate. Uh, I think it's something like 9% substantiation rate was found in an IBAC audit. Uh, so I just don't think, um, for John, that really th th there's going to be any meaningful change if he were to complain to the police directly. Um, I, I would be concerned about uh, the investigation, about him giving a statement, about the effect on him, and then ultimately my suspicion would be that they would find it to be unsubstantiated and that would just cause them further distress. McLeod was found guilty of three charges of unlawful assault over the use of his capsicum spray from close range for punching John in the stomach and then directing Hillgard to use the hose on the pensioner. After using the capsicum spray, McLeod asked John, Did you like that? Did you like that? Smells good, doesn't it? Magistrate uh, Kathy Lamble said, quote unquote, the assault was terrible to watch. And what do you think happened to this piece of shit? No conviction, fined three and a half thousand dollars, and he's still employed by Victoria Police, serving the community as he sees fit. Brad, what are you going to say when your son gets older? and he finds out that his dad is a piece of shit, what are you going to say to him? Seriously, dude, look at yourself. You're a disgrace to yourself. You're a disgrace to all the honourable good cops out there. And Victoria Police should hang their heads in shame for keeping a piece of shit like you employed. It's assholes like you who continue to give Victoria Police a bad name. It's tyrants like you who get good cops hurt. Be a better person, mate. Honour your oath. And start being the son a parent would be proud to have. Oh, yeah. Which is not on. Okay. It's not on. It says who? It's not. I can't film through there. You can't trespass my eyes, but I can film whatever I can see.